wanted to get that mention in, didn't you? Well, I mean, Somehow. pretty much everyone yeah. mentioned it. I mean, it's, uh, it's not every day you get to beat the All Blacks, is it? Good strength from Cole. And that's the problem you have when you you start to give decisions. I feel they're a bit softer towards strokes, like he gave for Paul Cole. The, the players are not silly, putting on and put for the the cheap point. Yeah, well, it was to his own detriment there. So five game balls throws the Suki, trying to put some pressure on. Well, another stroke, this time a, a certain stroke for me. Title on. Well, he's built up a significant lead, Tazuki. He's really pushing here. Yeah, he is. It's a bit, little bit loose, and you just, you've just got to be careful. I mean, he takes his second game. He's such a confidence player, Vanessa. He really does enjoy that side of things. I would say he's, he's, a, he's a lot better of a front runner rather than coming back. It's a bit difficult to tell from this angle. It's got to be a stroke, surely. I mean, that's a clear cut. I mean, that was uh, very loose. I think what Roy Gingell's felt is that he's really gone for Paul Cole on this one. But for me, it is still a stroke. Yeah. I think he has gone for Paul Cole, but the ball's just followed Paul Cole, so it, it is a stroke. Yeah, the heart rate's exactly where it should be. Late 180s for Cole. One loose cross court. That's all it needs for Phyllis Ferris to Suki. Watch this. One, three. Balance. Easy for him. Nice, right, well played. Poor width and Cole and holding nine, steady. Six. He's gone for the straight ball. Well played, very well played from Cole. The width wasn't Cole there and he shut it out. The forehand looking a lot better. The adjustments that Paul Cole's made, a lot, lot better. He's been loose the last three or four rallies. He's lost it a little bit, he's lost his way. And that little bit of interaction with the referee doesn't seem to have done Suzuki any harm at all. Well, that's just what the ordered on. I don't know why he's asking for a let. I mean, it's a bit, I mean, he's nowhere near that. That was a crucial point for Cole. And out, 6-4. Oh. It's good follow-up from Dasuki. Very, very good follow-up. He played that one two. The whip wasn't there, Vanessa. Look at this. Look how far up the court he pushes to hit that volley. We there we go. Oh. He served on his racket. Paul Cole. 11 9. Game to Dezuki. Two Paul Cole, so frustrated. It's a poor service. He went for the cross court, Nick. It was going to happen. It was on the cards. <laughs> Not a bad first rally for this fifth.
First blood to Dazuki. Who are you going for, Vanessa? Quickly. Dazuki. Oh. Well, that yeah. was a shot and a half. Wow. That was a shot and a half for Paul Cole. Look at this. Held his nerve there. Oh, my goodness me, with the wrist. Deserves a tie break. Oh, he got it. He oh, he's oh. oh, it's going to be a stroke against yeah. the Suki. Oh. It's going to be a stroke. There it is. What we a. We have nine match to call, three games to two. Paul Cole gets the stroke. Ferris the Suki at times 11, has played 6, 5, 11, some 11, 8, ridiculously 9, 11, good squash. 11, you can never say that. He does it about him. He's uh, looking back there. Hopefully, Paul Cole hasn't hurt himself. He landed well, marching quite on to the on semi finals from New Zealand, it's Paul Cole. And commiserations to for Egypt's Ferris the oh, Suki. Goodness me, that was a knock and a half. That was like something out of the England. Uh, New Zealand rugby, where we beat them. It's, it's not easy to not pull Cole over. And out seven six. So Ten six game ball. Daryl Selby serving. Ten six. Four game balls. Oh what a shot that is. Hand out seven ten game ball. Down. Well, Farag, Living very uncharacteristic, shanking Selby, that volley straight into the floor. Blocked. First blood to Daryl Selby here. Important point here for Farag because he built up a sizable lead. Absolutely slotted that. It's a great shot. And Up high on the reach, going backwards. Seven ten game ball. Well, there's only three game balls left here now. Nicely put away by Selby. 11 7, game to Farag, one game over. Well, Farag converting with that outright nick. from M5. Selby, felt like Farag was on to that trickle boast. Five. There, he just spots it. shot from Selby. Yeah, just getting the width right though, Farag. Then the two-footed running in. 
generally you only ever see him do that in the back back corners and he does it on his own terms so you see that quite often but you don't see it through the middle of the court or the front This has got to be one of the hardest rallies that we've had so far between these two. It hasn't been that lengthy a rally in general. Al Selby throwing everything at Farage. He's going for the jugular, isn't he, here, Daryl? Well, Daryl Selby winning the longest Darryl. rally. Six four. Battling away, trying to keep his focus. Ali Farag, game ball for a 2-1 lead against the 36-year-old. Closes it out. 11-9. Daryl Selby Farag, Farag lead two games to one. looks up to the Great Pyramid. Wow, I can't believe he got around Selby. In fact, it, yeah, getting around, but also this and shot down. and getting what he got Blow on to a six match ball. Scenario to close this out and book his place into the semi finals. One save from Selby. And down. 5 10, match ball. the back and he's got a very good width there Farag there's a the hole so Ali Farag takes the match with Daryl Selby 11-5 to Farag three games to one 8 11-7 11-9 11-5 so Ali Farag manages to close out against the 36 year old from Essex 55 minutes three games to one